Alexander Luke. I am working in the College of Dentistry. I have done my studies from India and my area of specialization is oral medicine and radiology. Oral cancer, as we all know, is one of the most common cancers in the world. And uh, as per the World Health Organization report uh, in 2019, uh, oral cancer is the top three cancer in some of the Asian Pacific countries. So our target was to uh, see some of the prevention and in a cure for initial uh, oral cancer, especially we targeted oral squamous cell carcinoma using uh, herbal uh, leaves, which is called as tulsi leaves. Uh, we use this uh, leaves extract, dry and aqueous uh, leaves to see the efficacy of this on the cell, uh, oral cancer cells. We all uh, have uh, literature uh, telling that uh, this uh, leaves, what we have used, is very active against many of the tumors, especially there are a lot of animal studies. But there was no study uh, done uh, using a can cancer cell line which we use, that is CA922, which we used for detecting the efficacy. And uh, we found that this is very active against the uh, oral squamous cell carcinoma and uh, we got a good result from our study. The efficacy of various other uh, cancer cell lines have been established but uh, this, is, uh, this cell line we have used for the first time to see the effect on the cancer cells. Uh, definitely patients uh, uh, when they have oral cancer many of them don't even undergo treatment. So. Uh, when we have a herbal way, that is the Ayurvedic form of treatment, uh, especially it is very useful in the initial stage, especially so that it prevents uh, from further progression and it can be treated uh, even in the initial stage of cancer. So definitely uh, this, after further studies, can definitely be uh, considered as a therapeutic uh, measure for oral squamous cell carcinoma.